Welcome back to our special pre-budget series, Ideas for India. Today we are discussing what ideas the budget can come up with to uh, b breathe fresh life into the banking sector. I have with me Mr. Pradeep Chaudhary, cha former chairman of the State Bank of India, Mr. M. R. Ubarji, uh, one of the authors of the Bankruptcy Code and former legal advisor to the IBA, Rajat Bell, director, Crystal Ratings. Well, Mr. Umarji, uh, we discussed about capital at length. Uh, I wanted to ask you, what can the uh, um, uh, budget uh, declare as a matter of policy for the general health of the banking sector? Uh, would uh, uh, any indication of the bankruptcy code be something very positive for the sector? Is there anything else they can do, for instance, to speed up sale of assets that have already been declared NPA? Is there any other announcement that can come from the, uh, the budget? See, it can happen that uh, government sets up a government-sponsored asset reconstruction company mm. which takes over all NPAs of banks mm. which are in the infrastructure sector. Mm. Now, the, the money, uh, the ARC can raise funds by issuing bonds which are guaranteed by the government mm. and use those funds for the purpose of acquiring infrastructure NPAs of public, all the banks. Mm. Now, then give a concentrated attention for turning around those infrastructure loans and uh, obtaining all the necessary clearances okay. and approvals uh -huh. and see that the projects are on, uh, put okay. on uh, Just a implementation. Concept. And, uh, a conceptual confusion. That, that, uh, are you planning, that are, you, can do. are you speaking of a bad bank? Or are you speaking more on the lines of what Jain Sinha has been saying that a part of the NIIF could be treated as a stressed asset fund. Uh, is that what you are alluding to? Yeah, it is something on those lines that uh, because the infrastructure is something which can be very clearly identified and uh, there will be many steps which the government can take to see that the projects which are stuck up are getting implemented. Okay. So the, my my reference was particularly for infrastructure projects, and it's a major part of the NPA of the banking system. Okay. Uh, well, uh, and the other issue. Come in at I, this I, moment. Yeah, one minute, sir. Yes. Yeah, let Mr. Umarji finish. I'm coming to you in a minute. Uh, yes, Mr. Umarji. Please. Yeah. In the past, you mm. see, when the prudential norms were introduced, income recognition principles were ob uh, to be adopted by the banks. Mm. There were some banks who went into losses. Okay. The entire implementation of income recognition principles was done in a phased manner. Mm. And eventually all the banks are compliant with the in Basel Committee norms yes. and are observing the standard, international standards of provisioning and income recognition. Yeah. It is only during the last one or two years that there are some problems. Yeah. So this problem also could be handled in a phased manner. Okay. Instead of just overnight telling everybody that make a full provision and all that. Mm. If you give, because as a regulator you mm. have full option to say that our banks will make provision for these NPAs in a phased manner. All right. Okay, that also Thereby you mm. will defer mm. and, uh, overnight making the banks okay. uh, uh, show, show losses in their balance sheets and all that Fair point. could be avoided. Yeah, that this is obviously something you will tell the regulator, not strictly something that may come in the budget itself. But Mr. Chaudhary. No. But you know, there is a difficulty because today banks have to comply with Basel norms on day one. Mm. You cannot say I will do this tomorrow, this day after, no. And even this, you know, revaluing the fixed assets, it can go to tier two. Mm. It cannot come to tier one. Yeah. So therefore, and what we need is tier one capital, which is called loss absorbing capital. Mm. So this has to be found. And either another way, what I suggested was mm. the internal accruals. Let okay. us strengthen the internal accruals. And as I said, four lakh crore is being immobilized from mm. banks mm. at no interest. Mm -hmm. Now let this money be given to railways, as I said, with government guarantee. And the banks would earn interest, the yeah. country would progress, there would be development all around, okay. and it would kickstart a demand situation. All right. Uh, so I'm and running second, out of time. Yeah. So I wanted and to then, check with you specifically one uh, uh, other point, which I don't want un not discussed. Uh, Mr. Chaudhary, uh, the ex expectation was that the bank board's bureau would be set up uh, on April 1st. Uh, uh, but do you think that any announcement uh, no, relating no. to that in the no. budget 
would be a shot in the arm for the public sector banks? No, no, not at all. Budget is a government's income and expenditure account. You don't road administrative measures to be rooted through the budget. If bank board bureau is to be set up, it can be done right away. And even today, mm. the bank board selection for public is presided over by RBI. Yes. So, you know, if you want to bring um, fairness and competence, there are enough levers to do that. So, I don't think that would be such a game changer. And look at this public sector bank, they were kept headless for one year. Yes. Now, if your channel is left without a CEO for one year, you can well imagine what will happen. No, to we won't survive so a month, sir. I take your point completely. Uh, absolutely. And we are not absolutely. even a levered company. So this, I, I take your point these entirely. Are, you know, yeah. These are intentions. These and are, you know, cosmetic and these are, I think, uh, diversionary tactics. So <laughs> well, basic tactics, basic this thing has well, to be handled. That how to reward. And the bad bank, I have an issue yeah. that it would be a moral hazard. Because then it is very easy for the bank. He says, let me go and lend to A, B, C, D, X, Y, Z, shutting my eyes. Mm -hmm. If it works, I get the interest income and go over the town saying that I'm a great guy. If it doesn't work, oh, there is the bad bank. Mm -hmm. So I can dump the assets there. It is like, you know, we get clean by but, dumping uh, our, I, I, our I, garbage I, into the... Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, I agree with you 200% if I could. But I think Mr. Umarji is referring to a stressed asset fund rather than a bad bank. No, no good enough. So, yeah. you know, there is an RCL. There is a ERC called RCL, yes. which has been promoted by SBI, IDBI and ICICI. Yeah. So, it brings in a flavor of both. It brings in flavor of public right. ownership. It also brings in private sector management. It is thoroughly professionalized. Mm. So, you can try to expand that ERC. Okay. Put in capital there. Why Fair reinvent enough. the wheel? Okay, sir. So Absolutely out of time uh, uh, on the show. Uh, uh, Rajat, any one last word that you would expect from the budget? I think it's largely on what is the plan for capital. That's, okay. that's the biggest thing that we are looking at. Okay. And the other softer aspects are things that will help in the longer run to establish uh, uh, credibility. Fair. And uh, I don't rule out the bad bank uh, option for now. I okay. think that's an option that needs to be looked at uh, okay. more carefully. All right. Uh, uh, Mr. Umarji, you have 10 seconds, sir. Anything else that you would expect? No, I don't think anything else. I, okay. I am expecting only this stressed assets fund okay. which could be established. All right. Uh, Mr. Uh, Chaudhary just uh, told us that uh, he doesn't want yes, sir, a bad bank. Level yeah. Please, Mr. Chaudhary. They exist. Already one exists. Okay. I would like the bank deposits not to be treated unfairly for investment. So if you are giving tax-free bond status to bonds of PFC, REC, why not to the banks? Okay. And secondly, after one year, any investment, you know, fixed as a investment, it gets capital gains treatment. Mm. So let the bank's deposit interest be also treated like that. Okay. The more you disincentivize mm. the bank deposit route for the depositors, the more money will go into gold and other unproductive yep. assets and mm. will reduce the share of financial assets in total savings. Okay. All right. Uh, Gentlemen, you three experts have given us a lot of ideas. Uh, uh, I, uh, kudos to Mr. Uh, Chaudhary for speaking up for the depositor. We always have people coming and speaking for borrowers. Very few speak for depositors. I take your point, though at this juncture, I think tax giveaways is not something I will expect from the government. Uh, uh, but really, capitalization is one big thing that uh, the market will uh, look forward to, as well uh, whether there would be something for uh, a better sale of uh, bad assets and their reconstruction. Those would be the two big themes that we would look forward to from the budget. Uh, Mr. Chaudhary, Mr. Umarji and Rajat, thank you very much for joining me in our special series, Ideas for India.